let's turn to the nine and nine. These are some of the most interesting stories making headlines around the world, around the country and right here at home tonight. A local woman is accused of beating someone with a pipe. Two soldiers killed in a crash involving military training vehicles and two prominent rappers are joining forces to work on prison reform. Here's tonight's nine and nine. The search has been called off for a soccer player from Argentina after a plane he was on disappeared from radar over the English Channel. Emiliano Sala had just been signed to a new team. Authorities say the chance that Sala is alive is extremely small. Two soldiers stationed at Fort Bliss in New Mexico killed in an accident this week. The Army says the crash involved military training vehicles. The cause of that crash is unclear. A San Antonio woman hospitalized following an overnight hit and run. San Antonio police still searching for the driver. They say the woman and her boyfriend were crossing the street at South Zarzamora and West Gerald Avenue when the woman was hit by a black car. A massive sinkhole alarming residents and raising concern in an Orange County, California neighborhood. That sinkhole measures 20 by 80 feet. The cause seems to be an underground flood control channel that collapsed. Some people have been evacuated. So far, no injuries have been reported. The Bear County Sheriff's Office has arrested a suspect accused of beating a 76 year old woman with a metal pipe and stealing her car. 22 year old Nashia Harris is now facing aggravated robbery charges. Italy ordered to pay Amanda Knox about 20,000 US dollars in financial damages by Europe's Human Rights Court. Amanda Knox was an American college student studying abroad when she was convicted for the 2007 murder of her British housemate. She was later acquitted on appeal and then released. The Human Rights Court found that Knox's rights were violated in the hours after her arrest. A Houston man is accused of trying to run over a school security guard. He's now charged with aggravated assault. Stephen De La Torre is also accused of trying to take his son off school grounds without permission. De La Torre's ex-wife works at the school and has a restraining order against him. General Mills is recalling five pound bags of gold metal unbleached flour. The food maker says salmonella was found during a sampling of the flour. There are no reports of illnesses related to that product. Rappers Jay-Z and Meek Mill, along with sports and business leaders, are launching an organization aimed at reforming the criminal justice system. The group is called the Reform Alliance and is dedicated to reducing the number of people serving unjust parole and probation sentences.